Hi everyone, um, it's Miss Lawrence here and I'm going to be doing your second art tutorial and this week it's all about a prehistoric animal um, which was called the woolly mammoth. Now these uh, creatures coexisted with very early humans so we're talking around oh, something like 800,000 years ago. Um, this particular one I'm showing you a picture of is uh, a woolly mammoth that would have been found in parts of East Asia. And you can see the similarity between a uh, woolly mammoth and an elephant that we still have um, around nowadays. So a woolly mammoth is extinct. Um, have a look and see if you can find out what that word means for me and see if you can tell me next time I see you. Um, its closest relative, as I said, is an elephant. So you can see it's got tusks. It's got a large trunk, it's got big ears, it's of similar size and shape. Um, this, this woolly mammoth would have been somewhere between 9 and 11 feet tall and weighed around 6 tonnes, so a huge animal. And it was covered in thick fur all over its body and that was so that it could adapt well to its cold environment. So it was found in parts of Siberia or Alaska, um, just to name a couple. Um, we're going to have a go at drawing one of these now, so I'm going to do a step-by-step -step tutorial. And if at any point you want to pause the video um, or rewind it and just start again, I'm going to draw mine in Sharpie pen so that it stands out, but you can do yours in pencil and if you make any mistakes then use a rubber to rub those out and have another go. Okay, so just move that to the side. And you can see here I've got my piece of paper ready and I've, I've got my paper landscape. So what that means is it's sideways on, so it's longer that way. The reason is the picture will fit better um, if you think about the shape of the mammoth. Um, we want it kind of um, long and wide rather than and tall, okay? So we're going to begin by putting a black dot. Obviously you guys just use a pencil. I'm going to do my dot just nice and small towards the kind of top left hand corner, okay? Above the dot, I'd like you to draw for me a curved line that's going to be the eyebrow. Okay, just zoom in on that so you can see. And just beneath the eye, we're going to draw a line that goes down, across, and back up. Now this resembles the letter C. Can you see if I turn the camera around? So similar shape to the letter C but tilted on its side. Okay. Now from that line you're going to draw a long straight line that begins to curve and flick at the end and then it comes back that way and joins there okay that's going to be one of the mammoth's tusks just above where we did the eyebrow can you draw for me a slightly curved line like that and then just extend that down so it touches the top of the tusk and then i want you to visualize that means imagine with your Eye, the line extends down and draws, comes down here and it flicks up at the bottom. This is the bottom of the trunk and then just take that line right up to there, okay. Underneath we're going to draw the bottom part of the mouth and the chin. So this is kind of a bumpy line, goes to about there. Okay, so if you're not keeping up, don't worry. Just press pause on the video and obviously you can rewind any parts that you're not sure of. Okay, moving on, we're going to do the top of the head. And because it's a woolly mammoth, we want to make it look like it's covered in fur. So I'm going to do a jagged line. And then I'm going to do the jagged line, but go in the opposite direction. And I'm going to bring it all the way around. To about there. So if I just hold that up so you can see 
starting to take shape now. You can see the shape of the mammoth's body. So underneath this line here, draw another jagged line. So about there. And this time, bring it down to a curve at the bottom and take that line back up to there. Okay, so that's the first of the mammoth's um, legs and feet. We want to make it look as though the mammoth is, is walking. So to do that, I'm going to do this other front leg that you can see behind, just, just bending round slightly. Okay. Now just bring that jagged line up a little bit. This one, the spikes and the jagged lines go a little bit more random, so a bit more up and down. That's on the mammoth's tummy. And then you'll have another leg that comes down, curves around, and goes back up. Okay, and then you'd see the last leg just peeping from behind there. Okay, so now we've got a basic shape, but it's lacking a bit of detail. We're missing an essential thing, so we've got to put the ear in this area here. So to do that, do a large curved line, swoop it round, bring it up to there. And just to add detail, I'm going to add a second line in like that. Now the eye, where you started at the beginning, if you remember that black dot, just do a little flick on the line and a little creases underneath. I'm going to make the dot a little bit bigger. Okay. Now on the trunk, we're going to add some detail. So I'm just going to shade some little triangle shapes. And then I'm going to put a couple of lines there where the end of the trunk kind of um, creases up. On here, I'm just going to add some lines for detail. And also underneath here to make it look furry. These zigzag lines that we did earlier, just extend them in like that, make the lines longer so that the mammoth looks really furry because their bodies would have been covered in really thick fur to keep them warm in that cold environment okay nearly there so let's add uh, the shape of the toes okay so to do that just pop a couple of curved lines there perhaps one there slightly different angle you don't need to probably see the one and then another couple of curved lines here and again just for some detail so that you can see where the toes are just on the leg there, just add a couple of lines above. And finally, we've got to do the other tusk that you would just see from the other side. So you see part of it here, should come up and come out like this. And it would, you wouldn't see that line because it would disappear behind that tusk there, okay? Now, I'm going to leave mine like that, but obviously you guys could feel free to colour it in or paint it if you've got some colours at home. Um, so have a go, see how you get on, and I can't wait to see what you've created.